Eckers and get to the theater later than usual, you know, kind of like, to, to kind of take it easy, weirdly. Um, with Henry, my, my regimen was actually really specific for every single performance of Henry, where I'd get up at nine, and I'd run a really long distance, uh, and then I'd come back to the house, depending on how long the distance was between 11 and noon, and, um, and then come back to the house, and I'd eat lunch, and then I'd stretch a lot, and then I would put my pajamas back on, <laughs> and I would get in bed, and I would watch TV, uh, <laughs> and then, um, and then um, I would uh, read, uh, uh, what's it? the Odyssey, the, the, the Homer's Odyssey. And because I, I, I think it's so pertinent to a hero's journey, it's the classic hero's journey. And so I just read a n new you know, 20, 50 lines of that, um, out, kind of out loud, just kind of, I don't, just was something that I wanted to do. And then um, I would watch a portion of the Ken Burns documentary, The War, um, because it was retrospective interviews about the war, um, about World War II, and very in-depth and personal retrospective things that I thought were so pertinent to the final moments of Henry. So I'd watch 20 minutes of that. I'd get to the theater, go through all my lines, about 6 p.m., go through all my lines, um, and then 6.40, <laughs> uh, head over to the theater, say hello to everybody, stretch, rehearse the fights, put on makeup, do the show, Go to the bar, <laughs> and that was my Henry Day. That was, I mean, exactly. Actually, it's funny that I left out eating in that because I actually would eat less on days of Henry because I didn't want to like be doing the show and be going, why did I eat that? Um, and so I, I usually, for honestly, for nights of Henry, I'd eat after the show. Before the show, I'd have. Most nights I just have some rice. It was terrible, but that's what I would do because uh, I didn't want to be thinking about that. I love food, but I didn't want to think about it on Nights of Henry. I just want to think about that show. It's time for one more question. If anyone. Yes. I have heard you're a great cook. What's your favorite thing? Um, what well, you want to come over? Uh, the the I so when I was really little. I lived in France for a while. Um, my father was doing business in the south of France, and we, which sounds so sketchy, doesn't it, when I say it like that. Uh, and, um, and we, uh, he, he owned a bunch of marble quarries, and so we would go to travel to France a lot. And then we were living there when I was four, and I st I, that's when I started to fall in love with food, um, because they cooked things like snails. You could eat snails, and when you're four years old, like that's all we want to eat anyway. And so, like the fact that like we could actually do that, so I started. I, st I that's when I fell in love with food, and and I I wanted to, um, I wanted to c cook French things, like really old school bistro stuff. And when I crave food, that's what I crave is is. Uh, is that is that is snails? Yeah, snails and 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 butter. I mean, you know, like that kind of. That's that's what I always crave is butter, garlic, parsley, and snails. <laughs> well, on that. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs>